Here we are again with Parenting Paused and Leslie Potter. So I've got a question for you. Do you ever feel stuck around wanting your kids to like you? Well, I know I did because I really had this fear of rejection and I really wanted my daughter to like me and think that I was a good mother. So I kind of overextended myself and you may too. I often said yes when I really inside wanted to say no because I really like in a way held my daughter hostage in needing to think that I was a good parent, right? (laughs) Now, I know it sounds crazy, but looking back, I can see how terrified I was to um, take my own autonomy, my own freedom and my being to be who I am and to set my daughter free from thinking that I was a good parent or setting her free from needing to like me. Because anytime that I had that going on, I was always monitoring her outside. I was monitoring to see, was she okay? Does she like me? Is she happy? Is she going to be okay with this? And you can see, if I didn't think she would be okay, I would build up all this energy my little righteous energy that would get all huffy and puffy and tell myself that I had a right as a parent to tell her what to do and when to do and how to do it. And so it was really kind of crazy making because the core of all of this was actually being okay inside myself. Now, think about it. If you were trained, like I was trained, and a lot of us were trained to take care of others, to love others, to be kind to others, to care for others, it makes it really challenging to come back inside and be kind to yourself, to care for yourself, to love yourself right? And to be good to yourself and to actually be effectively selfish, to know I I, I lost sense of caring for myself. My caring for myself became caring for my daughter. And let me tell you what a setup for her, because then she had to reflect back to me that I was a good mother. I wasn't able to set her free. So we're going to work this week with setting your kids free setting your partner free, setting anybody free that you feel you need to think you're a good person. You might have to set your parents free, your family free, (laughs) set everybody free, but especially to set yourself free from trying to please the outside, trying to make sure that everybody outside is okay and you are struggling inside. So let's just even take it one step deeper. What would it be like to set them free from understanding what you're doing? I mean, think about this with your family, right? I really wanted my family to get it, what I was doing, how much I had studied, and you know, and they didn't get it. They thought I was raising a heathen. They thought I was you know, giving my daughter too much. They were really on me and they didn't fully understand what I was doing and they weren't really interested in understanding. And I spent a lot of time early on trying to get them to understand until I understood. I understood inside myself that I needed to parent the way I was parenting so that I could be clean, I could be clear, I could look in the mirror with my heart. Now, did that mean my daughter was going to turn out okay? I don't know. I mean, she did, thankfully, (laughs) but I had to let go of my desire for that future outcome so I could really come alongside myself and set myself free from needing others to understand what I was doing, right? And this is such a hard one, right? Like, because people react, especially families, when your children, you know, express their internal experience, right? (laughs) Often people don't like that because they express it through behavior. And in our culture, again, we've talked about so often the gold standard is good behavior. So when a kid expresses their internal feeling of threat by hitting or biting, 
Everybody's going to be on you. Let me tell you, they are going to be on you to control that behavior. Nobody's going to want to hear about your child's internal experience or what you're doing, how you're supporting them. They're uncomfortable. They really want, not everybody, but I know my family did and a lot of people outside. So if you have that experience this week, you are going to practice setting, first of all, yourself free to be all of who you are to follow your knowing, your guidance. And then you're going to really work on setting everybody else free. All right, lovies, I'm so glad that you're here with me for Parenting Paused. If you'd like more of these little inspirations during the week, go over to my website, check out my Pure Joy Walk Talks. They are one of my favorite offerings very inexpensive, $20 a month. You get every day, you get to hear a little five-minute inspirational talk. I take a topic, like I take a topic on the podcast, but each day I deepen with that topic. So we go deeper and deeper and deeper. So if that sounds like something, if you'd like to have me in your ear every day during the week, <laughs> jump on over to the Pure Joy Parenting Uh, website and click on offers and find that uh, Pure Joy Walk Talks. You'll get seven days free if you sign up. So go and check it out. All right. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for listening to this episode of Parenting Paused. If you enjoyed the episode, do me a favor and share it with your mama friends. You can also leave a review wherever you listen, which will support getting the Pure Joy message out. Come on over to the Pure Joy Parenting Practice Facebook page or join me on Instagram to hear more. And don't forget to download your free copy of the Safe Seat course on the Pure Joy website. And while there, check out the offerings page to go deeper in the Pure Joy work.